How's it going everyone? My name is Darius and I'm Carmen and we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We're doing a series covering the Becoming Your Own Banker book by Mr. R. Nelson Nash. And the reason why we think this book is so important is because if there's anything you want to know about infinite banking, this is where you start. Yes. And today what we're going to be covering is Willie Sutton's law found on page 29. Willie Sutton was a notorious bank robber of his time. He lived from 1900 to 1980 mm. and when they caught up with them they asked him a question why do you rob banks and he said simply because that's where they keep the money <laughs> short sweet and simple and this section is dedicated to well if you guessed it is dedicated to understanding the taxation laws and the IRS and how he's basically calling them thieves in this section mm -hmm. and I want to read a brief section in this in the Willie Sutton's law so that you can better understand exactly where we're coming from and uh, we're not gonna leave anything out <laughs> question who is the biggest theft I'm sorry who is the biggest thief in the world if you answer the Internal Revenue Service you are correct most people have this feeling but lack the ability to explain that it is indeed theft I explain it this way let's go to a shopping mall or some such place where there are lots of people to witness what I'm about to do to you. At this point, I pull out a gun and place it against your head and direct you to give me the contents of your wallet or I will blow your brains out. <laughs> I can predict with certainty that those who saw this act will describe it as theft and call for my punishment. But if you will allow me to gather the same crowd for about an hour before showing up, and let me talk to them about how we're going to divide the contents of your wallet and dis distribute among them. Now they will call this act democracy in action. <laughs> so basically what he's saying here, what I gather is the Internal Revenue Service is robbing us. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily holding a gun to our head because they already said exactly what is going to happen. You're going to go out and work and you're going to give me half of your income mm -hmm. and we're going to divide it amongst the rest of the people in the u.s mm -hmm. that's kind of what he what he's saying here yeah at least that's the example that he gave exactly <laughs> and for for whatever reason it's we're okay with it because we know that it's coming yeah <laughs> uh, i want to read another section of this page uh, actually of this page page 29 just because when we read this book it's so juicy and like Derry <laughs> said we don't want to leave anything out because this hit me like a ton of bricks and i hope that you had the same reaction to so carrying on to the government being thieves he says the government lawmakers and bureaucrats who carry out these uh, perversions of the law fully understand that they are dealing with a parasite host relationship the government is not capable of producing anything and its substance from and gets all of its substance from the productive elements of society Government is a parasite and it lives off of the productive taxpayers, the host. It is self-evident that these, that if the parasite takes all of the produce from the host, both parties die. How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy. <laughs> the government officials may be cunning, but they are not stupid. And then Nelson talks about how the, um, to the point where the government officials, if the government officials sense a rebellion, they always report exceptions to the rule. So they invented qualified plan, plans like pension plans, HR 10 plans, 401k plans, IRAs, ad nauseum. This is a classic case of appointing the fox to guard the chicken house. And how totally absurd did you notice that all of these plans were not installed simultaneously? Hmm. <laughs> How about that? That was a mouthful. Uh, I think that when I, like I said, when I read that, it hit me like a ton of bricks, just talking about the parasite host relationship mm -hmm. and literally how the government and the IRS is sucking every life out of us. Yeah. Going back to do all the work and we're going to collect your money. So he's not a fan of taxes mm -mm. in the IRS. Mm -mm. <laughs> not at all. I like the part about the retirement plans mm -hmm. because he just before he tells us about it, he says the government officials aren't stupid. Yeah. So when you put your money in a tax deferred environment, you're 
saying that you're not going to pay taxes today, you're going to pay taxes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, they spin it like, don't pay taxes on the money right now. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll prolong it. You don't have to worry about it. And us as pay consumers, we're like, oh, that sounds great. <laughs> right. But ask yourself this question. Do you think taxes are going to go up or go down? I would assume they go up. Right. And if you don't pay taxes, if you pay taxes um, in the future, that means you're going to be paying a higher tax rate. Oh, yeah. So the best thing that we can do is pay taxes now and put our money in an environment where we can earn tax-free tax free income, right? mm -hmm. tax-free growth. Mm -hmm. And the best thing to do that, what Nelson Nash is trying to, or what he's explaining here is to do that inside a whole life insurance policy mm -hmm. or dividend paying whole life insurance policy. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the point of the, the fact of this is whole life insurance has been around for over 200 years, whereas these government qualified plans are newer to our existence. Right. And at the, the foundation of it, who is it really benefiting? When you think about it, like Darius was saying, from a consumer standpoint, we're thinking it's good because our taxes are deferred. But really, that just allows the government to collect more money from you mm -hmm. later. So again, who is this really benefiting? Is it you or is it them? And unfortunately, ignorance costs us a lot of money as consumers just because we're following status quo. You know, as you're talking, it really takes me back to uh, Parkinson's law. Yeah. Because by uh, not paying taxes now, we have that immediate gratification of mm. we have more money going into we this feel environment. Like it feels yeah. like more money is mm -hmm. going there. Mm -hmm. And not only are we deferring taxes, but there's also fees and different things associated with putting your oh. money inside a retirement account that we don't even think about. Yeah, we didn't even talk about that. Even at 1%, mm -hmm. there's a huge difference in having the minus 1.25% or 1% versus not. Yeah, yeah. Totally true, because that's eating from your principal. Exactly. Yeah, so I, I really hope that this information was helpful for you all, especially when it comes to taxation. This is a big, big topic that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. um, but we also know that those of you watching this in government land, hey, we're just reading a book. Yes. <laughs> we're just quoting Mr. Nelson Nash. Um, but anyways, I'm just teasing. Uh, we hope that this is inf informative for you so that you can best plan how to manage your money and where your money should go. Yes. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we come out with brand new videos and like this video. Mm -hmm. Also, follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or the government will. <laughs>